when you enter, you will find yourself in a room with four doors. The one you have come through and three others. Take the door to the right. Each time, the door to your right. Within, you will see many things that disturb you. Visions of loveliness and visions of horror. Wonders and terrors. Sights and sounds of days gone by and days to come and days that never were. Let him be king over charred bones and cooked meat. Let him be the king of ashes. The series was her first thought the next time she paused, but a second glance told her otherwise. The man had her brother's hair, but he was taller and his eyes were a dark indigo rather than lilac. Aegon, he told a woman, nursing a newborn babe in a great wooden bed. What better name for a king? Will you make a song for him? The woman asked. He has a song, the man replied. He is the prince that was promised, and his is the song of ice and fire. He looked up when he said it, and his eyes met Danny's, and it seemed as if he saw her standing there beyond the door. There must be one more, he said, though whether he was speaking to her or the woman in the bed, she could not say. The dragon has three heads. He went to the window seat, picked up a harp, and ran his fingers lightly over its silvery strings. Sweet sadness filled the room, as man and wife and babe faded like the morning mist. Mother of dragons, child of storm, three fires must you light, one for life and one for death and one to love. Three months must you ride, one to bed, one to dread, and one to love. Three treasons you will know, once for blood, and once for gold, and once for love. Help me, help her, show her. Mother of dragons, daughter of death. Mother of dragons, slayer of lies. Mother of dragons, bride of fire. Mother! 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 And suddenly the visions were gone, ripped away, and Danny's gasp turned to horror. The undying were all around her, touching her with their dry, cold hands. All the strength had left her limbs. She could not move. Even her heart had ceased to beat. Perched above her, the dragon spread his wings. She could hear the shrieks of the undying as they burned, their high, thin, papery voices crying out in tongues long dead. When Danny looked behind her, she saw thin tendrils of smoke forcing their way through cracks in the ancient stone walls of the Palace of Dust.